For every one human being on the planet, there are 200 million insects. Some look scary, some are beautiful, but today we're taking a look at the top 15 most unusual insects in the world. Number 15. Glass Wing Butterfly Taking an up-close and personal look at this amazing insect may have you thinking that it's got some serious holes in its wings. But surprisingly, the glass wing butterfly earns its name from its transparent wings. The wings are as clear as a freshly cleaned window, and while the small white stripes on their wingtips let predators know that the glass wing butterfly is toxic to eat, their sheer wings keep them mostly out of sight. You probably won't see them coming. These butterflies lack pigment, so their wings won't develop color while they're growing in the chrysalis. And because their wings are so thin, their texture is so rough, we can see right through them. The glass wing butterfly looks more like an A-plus art project than it does an insect, and it takes the phrase walking on air to a whole new level. The glass wing butterfly is a fantastic reminder that not everything in nature is trying to kill you, and Mother Nature still has a fondness for beauty. And while so many butterflies are known for their vibrant colors, tricky patterns, and fairy tale looks, it's pretty clear here that you don't have to have the flashiest dress to be the belle of the ball. Number 14. Snake Imitating Caterpillars Caterpillars are as diverse as they are beautiful, but they're also easy prey for predators. Sitting on those leaves all day, waiting for the right time to form a chrysalis, often leaves them exposed to be plucked up in someone's beak. So, to increase their odds of survival, caterpillars have adapted things like thorns or poisonous spines. But what about the critters who can't deliver a lethal dose? What are they supposed to do? Well, there's a whole new slew of caterpillar species in the wild that have adapted to hide in plain sight by mimicking snakes. You've got things like the Red Helen Swallowtail Caterpillar, the Spice Bush Swallowtail Caterpillar, and the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. And while these little guys may be just good enough to fool a bird, the elephant hawk moth caterpillar is good enough to even fool a human. The ends of these caterpillars look just like a snake's head, eyes, and all, but when they feel threatened, they can either stick their end into the air or let it hang off the end of a branch to let nearby predators know that this is not an animal they want to mess with. Looks are always deceiving, so this caterpillar is totally harmless unable to produce venom or bite. But what makes this elephant hawk moth caterpillar even cooler is when they emerge from their chrysalis, they're one of the most beautiful moths in the world with pink and green designs. Number 13. Hickory Horned Devil The Hickory Horned Devil is one of the largest Saturnid caterpillars, reaching a length of about 4 to 5 inches. To put that into perspective, the Hickory Horned Devil is the perfect size to fit snugly in a hot dog bun at your next summer barbecue. That's pretty huge. The caterpillars can vary in color, but they typically are blue-green. And while these big guys have horns or spikes all the way down the length of their bodies, it's the orange and black horns at their heads that really capture people's attention. And even though these caterpillars look scary, they're absolutely harmless. These caterpillars tend to keep to themselves, but as they get ready to pupate, it's not uncommon to find them in groups large enough to deforest a small area. They're getting ready to change, so they're pretty hungry. But if you thought these hickory horn devils looked amazing, just wait until they emerge from the pupa as royal walnut moths. Royal walnut moths are ridiculously huge, growing to be about 6 inches long, making them the largest moths by mass in Mexico. What sets this species apart is that instead of forming a chrysalis, turning into goop and then reforming as the royal walnut moth, this hickory horned little devil burrows its way into the ground to pupate within a small chamber. So if you're ever walking through the forest or the woods watching this guys to make sure nothing winged lands on you, make sure to look down at the ground too, because you never know what just might pop up. Number 12. Longhorned Orb Weaver Spider Nobody wants to look down to see a giant hairy spider crawling on them, but they might not feel the same about this eight-legged arachnid. The long-horned orb weaver spider sports bright colors and those long horns that looks like it can pick up Wi-Fi from miles away. No one really knows for sure why these spiders have adapted to grow these long spines, but many would agree that they're either just for show or appear larger to predators. What makes these spiders really cool is that they most likely date back to the Jurassic period, so you're looking at a potentially 200 million year old species. And luckily for all the arachnophobes out there, the longhorned orb weaver spider doesn't grow more than 8 millimeters, not counting those long spines. So if you do see one out in the garden, don't squash it. Instead, try to appreciate its one-of-a-kind beauty. 
But the best part about the long-horned orb weaver spider, aside from their Texas longhorns, if you squint hard and long enough, they kind of look like strawberries. Number 11. Roseate Skimmer Buzzing into the next spot on our list is the Roseate Skimmer. This species of dragonfly earns its name because of the rose pink and sometimes red or maroon colored abdomen of the males. The females, on the other hand, sport an orange-brown abdomen with clear orange veins in their wings and a brown thorax with a stripe down their back. And when it comes to mating season, the more vibrant the male is, the better his chances of producing plenty of offspring with his female counterpart. When this roseate skimmer is born, they have a bright pink or purple abdomen, and their thorax develops a blue tint as they mature. For a buzzing bug, these guys are pretty to look at. But these roseate skimmers typically invade new habitats and expand their territories in places like ponds, lakes, and canals in more tropical areas like the Bahamas, West Indies, and even Hawaii. So make sure to look for them the next time you're on an island vacation with the family. This gorgeous dragonfly is going to be spotted foraging on the tops of tall vegetation and is an incredibly aggressive predator for all sorts of insects, even larger ones than itself. Purple isn't a color that you typically see in nature, so if you do manage to catch a glimpse of these roseate skimmers, consider yourself incredibly lucky. Number 9. Goromidus heros This fly species just barely beat the timber fly for the largest in the world, and it is pure nightmare fuel. Goromidus heros are huge. They typically grow up to 8 centimeters long and have a wingspan of 10 centimeters. They can fit in the palm of your hand like it's nothing. That is, if you're willing to get that close. And while all the males feed on plants and flowers and the females don't really eat at all, it's not the type of fly you want to run into. A more territorial fly, the female heros lay their eggs near ant hills, and the larvae will eat the unborn inside. The males will make their homes near the nests, keeping their broods safe, but also securing them with plenty of mates, seeing as how they're living in prime reproductive real estate, turning the ant's nest into a love nest. And while that may sound warm and fuzzy, the Goromidas heroes are some of the most cringe-inducing insects you'll see. Because, and no offense, they're some of the ugliest and creepiest looking bugs in the whole of the animal kingdom, and it's one of the last things you want to find crawling around in your house. Number 8. Scorpion Fly Flying around the nettles and brambles of gardens and hedgerows is the scorpion fly, but don't be alarmed, because the name is just that, a name. Thankfully, this is anything but a scorpion with wings, although it's definitely strange-looking. It does have its scorpion-like tail, which the males use in their courtship displays. They usually mate at night, which can be a pretty dangerous game for the males. He'll present his mate with a nuptial gift of a dead insect or a mass of his own saliva to let her know he likes her. It's a lot cheaper than an engagement ring, I guess, but the female will usually kill the male during mating. But when all is said and done, the female lays her eggs in the soil and the emerging larvae will then pupate at the surface. Besides its ominous looking tail, the scorpion fly has a black and yellow body, a reddish head with a long beak, and dark patches on the wing. If you don't know any better, it can look like a strange butterfly when you get up close, but they've got a long beak-like projection from the head that they use to feed with, typically on other dead insects. And the scorpion fly will even steal some fresh meat from a spider's web. But don't worry, they're harmless to humans. Number 7. Brush Jewel Beetle The next strange-looking insect on our list is a small one, usually growing to be just about one inch long. But that doesn't make it any less pretty to look at. The Brush Jewel Beetle shines with the amazing blue-green metallic hue that makes it look like the perfect specimen to turn into a brooch for your next gala. The brush jewel beetle has a nice, chunky, cylindrical body that appears to have tufts of long, waxy, white, yellow, and orange hairs bursting through its skin. It's the type of insect that when you see it, you're not sure if you want to run away or if you want to pet it. Either way, though, the brush jewel beetle won't care, because these little guys are pretty docile as far as the insect kingdom goes. Their tiny larvae tunnel through the stems and roots of different shrubs, feeding on the plant nutrients to make sure they grow big and strong, even if they're going to be about the size of our thumb. And when they finally reach adulthood, the brush jewel beetle prefers to enjoy the heat of the day, feeding on water-rich foliage flowers and getting plenty of water before retiring for the night. On the flip side, though, the brush jewel beetle doesn't live very long, because as we all know, the light that burns twice as bright burns half as long, and such beauty is typically short-lived. Number 6. Hummingbird Moth Hummingbirds are awesome, and even moths are amazing in their own right. 
So what would happen if you were to kind of combine the two? Well, then you'd get the weird-looking hummingbird moth. Despite the look, this furry little friend is most definitely a moth, but their wings, long tongue, flight pattern, movement, and even the sounds they make may betray that fact just a bit. These furry little flyers like to hover on the beautiful flowers of southern Europe and North Africa, and their wingspans typically don't reach more than about two inches from end to end. They've got their brown forewings and brown-orange hind wings that tend to give them away upon further inspection, and you can find them all throughout the day and even at dusk, too. So, if you find yourself in any of those regions, you can find them almost around the clock. Just listen for their tiny little hum as they hover over flowers just like their bird brethren. The hummingbird moth is a great reminder that just because it's an insect doesn't mean it has to be some sort of scary, creepy crawly. And maybe the best part about these moths is the fact that just because they're hanging out around gorgeous flowers all day, just like bees, they pollinate the area to help the local flora populations not just grow, but thrive. I guess a great question here would be what was going on during the evolution to make a moth that imitates a hummingbird? Well, I'll leave that one to your imaginations. Number 5. Hercules Beetle The next strange-looking insect on our list is going from zero to hero just like that. Because I am, of course, talking about the insane Hercules beetle. Not only is this thing one of the largest insects in the world, but they're also one of the strongest for its size. These big guys are pretty tough to miss because of their defining physical characteristic is that massive horn that all adult males can grow to be larger than their body. They're absolutely incredible, looking like miniature rhinos, but in total, the Hercules beetle usually grows to be over 7 inches long, which is just another staggering statistic. And don't think these Herc beetles start out tiny, because their larvae grow to be disgustingly large and look more like gross snakes than they do larvae. Those are some big babies, and calling them larvae is an absolute understatement. The males have developed these horns to go head-to-head -head with one another in the hopes of attracting a mate and proving their worth as the strongest guy in town. And speaking of strength, how much is the strongest insect in the world able to lift? Try 850 times their own body weight. That number is absolutely ridiculous and makes them pound for pound not just the strongest insect, but one of the strongest anything. Good luck winning a fight with the Hercules beetle. Number 4 spiny flower mantis. Some of the most unusual looking insects also happen to be some of the coolest, and the spiny flower mantis is no exception to that rule. This mantis lives in the South African region and has one of the best defense mechanisms nature can offer. It's not claws, sharp teeth, or deadly poison because for any of those options to work, you have to get up close and personal. And while they may prove to be effective, sometimes the best way to win a fight is by avoiding it entirely. So the spiny flower mantis blends in almost perfectly into the local flora. But this little guy is a lot more exciting than something like a stick bug, which just looks like, well, a stick. Instead, this mantis comes in all sorts of different exotic colors, and as the name would suggest, it's covered in spines. Needless to say, it's gorgeous, and it's probably one of the few types of little bugs that don't warrant the grossed-out knee-jerk reaction. But this mantis isn't all just looks, because they're capable of some pretty amazing things as well. For starters, despite growing to be about an inch and a half long, the females are able to produce an egg sac that's about three times their own size. Talk about being a supermom. And of course, in true mantis fashion, those tiny yet beautiful insects are pretty mean to each other because they eat any other mantis that gets too close. And when it comes to mating season, the males who are able to find a mate, while it's great that they're helping the species live long and prosper, things tend to end a little poorly for them when the deed is done, because the females take a bite out of their head and don't stop until she's full. Sorry. Number 3. Tailed Emperor Butterfly Caterpillar When any animal has the word emperor in its name, you know it's going to be epic. And just because you're a caterpillar doesn't mean you can't be epic. The tailed emperor butterfly caterpillar is one of the few of its kind that looks better than a caterpillar. These bugs hang out on the east coast of Australia, with the best time to see them being between the months of March and April, as all they do is propagate on the Illawarra flame tree. And how appropriate, because this emperor butterfly caterpillar looks just like a tiny dragon. So good thing for us that they're so small. And it's kind of ironic, because when these small green fire breathers eventually transform into a butterfly, they lose all of their colors, with mostly white and brown or beige wings, because you can't be beautiful forever. 
This caterpillar looks like a triceratops with its seemingly armor-plated head covered in thorns that don't achieve anything outside of looks. Seeing as how caterpillars aren't fighting over mates, food, or territory, it's usually just a reminder that not everything in nature has a purpose, but almost everything in nature can still be appreciated. Number 2. The Flannel Moth You know things are about to get fuzzy when you have something like the flannel moth. These fuzzy wuzzies go by all sorts of interesting names, like the Italian asp, the fire caterpillar, and even the pus moth. There are some strange, albeit nefarious, nicknames, so what exactly is going on here? Well, a lot. They start out their lives as larvae, and they're only about an inch long when they're covered in thick setae that resembles cat hair. It's an incredibly distinct look that makes them hard to miss as they're crawling about on a tree, especially in their early stages of life. But the cuteness starts and ends right there, because the last thing you want to do is get close to them, because the flannel moth larvae are very, very poisonous. They secrete a serious venom that causes an extremely painful reaction in the skin of humans upon direct contact. It won't kill you, but it'll definitely warrant a trip to the doctor ASAP. You'll suffer from what's called a grid-like hemorrhagic popular eruption, followed by searing pain that's similar to having a broken bone. If you're lucky, the venom won't spread, but if you're not so lucky, then you can expect the venom to bring the pain all throughout the limb and cause anything from blisters and rashes to nausea and difficulty breathing. So it looks like big things really do come in small packages, but when the flannel moth finally does grow to become an adult, they're totally harmless. Number 1. Stalk-Eyed Fly If flies were sharks, this species would be the hammerhead. The stalk eye fly is an interesting looking little fellow, and it's typically found in Southeast Asia and Southern Africa. There are more than 100 different species of these little guys, with the majority of their diversity living in old world tropics, but not these funky looking flies. Because believe it or not, the stalk eye fly is a vegetarian, eating the decayed flora around streams and rivers and keeping the place clean. But things can get a little hairy when the stalk eye fly gets a little too close to a farmer's crops. These flies particularly enjoy rice and sorghum, and can prove themselves to be real pests when it comes time for the harvest season in the more tropical African countries. The males of this species are territorial, and typically the gender with the longer stalks. The eye stalks are used in head-to-head -head fly fights, with the winner retaining the territory and bragging rights. Nine out of ten times, whoever has the longer stalks wins. And while flies with longer stalks remain dominant, it's also part of their mating habits and sexual selection. Females prefer males with longer stalks, probably because it makes them look stronger, since bigger stalks are a greater burden on their bodies. So it looks like even among the smallest creatures of the animal kingdom, size really does matter. And with the stalk-eyed fly, the goofier looking the male is the better chance he has of finding real love. Thank you to our channel members.